Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are using a Mac and you ever seen an annoying message that says your computer was restarted because of a problem, you know how annoying it can be. It usually pops up every time you reboot and log in. I am going to walk you through some simple steps to fix this issue. This message usually appears after your Mac crashes or when there is some kind of software or hardware problem causing an unexpected shutdown. Thankfully, there are ways to fix this. Uh, let's go through them one by one. Fix number one, removing the sleep image file. Sometimes the sleep image file gets corrupted. The sleep image is a hidden system file used for hibernation feature on Macs. It saves the contents of your RAM to disk so that your Mac can resume exactly where you left off after waking up from sleep mode. If this file gets corrupted, it can cause system errors, including the one we are talking about today. Here's how to fix it. Open the Finder application. Press Command Shift G to open the Go To folder dialog. Type in this path slash private slash var slash vm and press enter. You will be taken to a folder where the sleep image file is located. If you see a file named sleep image, you can safely delete it by dragging it to the trash. Don't worry, this file will be recreated automatically next time your Mac goes into hibernation. Now let's move on to the next fix. Fix number two, clean out diagnostic reports. Diagnostic reports are logs generated by Mac OS when something goes wrong with your system or apps. Over time, these logs can pile up and take up valuable space, possibly causing conflicts. Deleting them is an easy way to clear things out. To do this, open Finder, press Command Shift G and then type slash library slash logs slash diagnostic reports. If you see a list of files here, select all of them by pressing Command A and delete them and empty the trash. That's it. Old logs can sometimes be culprit and this step may help uh, clear things up. Hopefully one of these two fixes works for you. Otherwise there are three other things you can try. Uh, the third one is run Apple Diagnostics to know if there are any hardware issues. If the report comes out, if there are hardware issues, it might be time to contact Apple support or visit an Apple store for help. Number four, repair your disk using disk utility. It can check and fix errors related to formatting and directory structure of a Mac uh, storage device. And number five, if the issue still persists after doing all the above four steps, as a last option, backup and reinstall macOS. You can find steps on how to perform above three steps by visiting Apple support documentation. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech tips. Let me know in the comments if you had this issue and which fix worked for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.